much anymore and we should refrain from them and we should focus on the economy, I again say, push back and remind them that there will be no strong economy if there is not a strong commitment to what's right. There will be no strong sense of economic survival if we don't even obey the simple principles of physical survival and protecting that for each other. This week, Iowa was in the news for something other than politics, and it was pretty extraordinary. Army Staff Sergeant Salvatore Vienta was given the Congressional Medal of Honor. One never says that a person won the Medal of Honor because you don't win it, you receive it for extraordinary and heroic duty. Sergeant Hitter received his because he ran into two different torrents of bullets that were being fired by Taliban in Afghanistan as he was going to retrieve his fellow soldier, Joshua Brennan, a sergeant in the Army. And he ran headlong into those wall of bullets to get the wounded body of his colleague, put him on his back and carry him back to safety. Unfortunately, Sergeant Brennan did not survive. For this action, Staff Sergeant Ginter received the Congressional Medal of Honor. And when he was awarded it, he proved to all of us why he deserved it because he said that he would gladly forego any recognition if he could get the life of his fallen soldiers back. That their lives, that their existence was so much more important than any medal that could be draped around his neck. It was not lost on me that in that message is the message that today we're here to affirm. That we honor him, we reward him, we hold him up as an example of our greatest because he recognized that even a wounded and bleeding soldier has value. And that the life of that soldier never ceased having value because it no longer was able to be a fighting soldier, he was now wounded, and in this case, mortally so. But his life had so much value that Staff Sergeant Ginta was willing to go and risk his own to try and save his wounded God. When I think of the greatness of America, I don't think of the people who selfishly expend the lives of others so that they may advance themselves. I think that America is a great country when we were willing to risk our lives for even those who may be wounded beyond the point of being saved. We don't have medals for people who would snuff out the lives of little kids around us. We have medals and a special place of honor for those who recognize the high value of every life as a gift of God. If others want to fight the battles and say that the only thing that matters is what the tax rate is, let it be their battle. But as for me and for my house, I say to you and I ask you to join with the throng of those who from the pews and the churches across this land, I hope will never be silenced in saying, no, the life that God gives is a life that God values. And it is a life that we will value, uphold, and we will protect. And that if we protect the lives of the weakest among us, then God's blessing will be upon us. But if, if we harm these little ones, these precious ones, these innocent ones, these defenseless ones. Better that a millstone be hanged about our neck and us drowned in the depths of the sea 
My friend, the future of America is not in its tax policy. It's in its recognition of a holy God and the people he creates and whether or not we will stand with him and for them. Please never leave that message from the God's